Joining me now is the former Prime Minister of Israel, Ehud Omert. Prime Minister Omert, welcome and thank you for joining us. Um, you, you wrote a very powerful piece in Haaretz, which I think we are not as aware of, uh, the, the, some of the facts you laid out there. Tell us what we need to know about the current coalition that is behind Bibi Netanyahu, that is, that is g- running this war and governing Israel. Hi, Farid. I think that they are not behind him. They are ahead of him. They are in front of him. They are a group of uh, Messianic uh, Jews, Israelis, who believe in the greater Israel or the greatest Israel. They believe that the West Bank has to be part of the state of Israel, uh, not just practically, but officially. It has to be integrated. They have inspired the uh, hilltop uh, youth, which are very um, aggressive and violent uh, group of young people that are trying to force uh, the uh, the new uh, different uh, life conditions to the uh, residents of the uh, West Bank, the Palestinians. uh, There are uh, terrorists in the uh, territories, no doubt about it. And uh, almost every day there is a terrorist action against Israelis uh, by Palestinians, and this is something that has to be coped with in the most uh, forceful manner by us. But the uh, majority of the Palestinians living in the territories are not terrorists. But they are attacked by many amongst the uh, Jewish residents there. And uh, those who attack the innocent, not involved Palestinians, and burn their properties, and uh, are trying to lynch them sometimes, they are supported directly, explicitly, and publicly by the Minister of National Security of the Government of Israel and by the minister, who is a finance minister, also in charge of the territories uh, by the government. So uh, this is not behind Netanyahu. This has been in front of him, ahead of him, supported by him, authorized by him uh, from the beginning of this government. And I think that this is a very serious danger to the moral foundations of the state of Israel. I am absolutely, absolutely without any doubt in favor of uh, fighting terrorists and if necessary, neutralizing them, killing them when they are trying to kill me. But I am against the vicious, brutal, aggressive attitude to the majority of the Palestinians living in the territories. They have to have their own state. They have to exercise their right for self-determination. And the sooner, the better. Prime Minister Omer, you've heard uh, um, you know, Richard Haas, uh, myself, a number of people are urging President Biden to make the case to the Israeli people that the war needs to be conducted in a very different way. There needs to be some kind of a ceasefire. There needs to be a plan for the post-war. In a sense, to to, uh, make the case that Prime Minister Netanyahu is leading them down a bad path. What do you think the effect of that would be, in your opinion? Number one, I think that if President Biden will come and speak in the Knesset, it will be a great day for the state of Israel, for the people of Israel, for our nation. We respect the president. I think that he is a great president and a great friend. I know him personally for many years. I've worked with him in different capacities, obviously. And I never doubted his complete, deep commitment for the state of Israel, for its security, for its future, and for the well-being of our people. So if he comes and speaks, it will be a great day. But I want to take it one step further. I think that on top of making this direct appeal to the Israeli people in the Knesset, he should sit in a closed room with Netanyahu and he should explain Netanyahu what needs to be explained so that Netanyahu will understand. And I know 
I know for sure that if Biden will make this direct appeal to the Israeli people and will take it one step further in a private talk with the prime minister and explain him what needs to be explained so that he will understand, he will not lose one Jewish vote, one a bit of support of the Jewish people in America, on the contrary. He will gain more. And he will also gain all the, those who doubt about how important his position is to the American interests, including all the liberals of his party. So it's a win-win move. And I uh, certainly am very happy that uh, people uh, of such impact and significance uh, advise him to do it.